welcome back everyone today i'm going to start journey number 4 in prior classes you might have seen uh, journey 0 1 2 and 3 so this is the journey number 4 and we are going to start the advanced filter series in this journey like at least there will be three journey related to advanced filter. So this is the part one of advanced filter. So let's see what are the advanced filter commands we are going to cover in this one. So in this advanced filter, we are going to cover and, or, and, between. So you can see on the mile one, this is R, mile two it's and, and then mile three is between. So what what is this and, or, and between? Let's try to understand. In the previous classes, I have just shown you that simple filter. For an example, if we can go to database. So I was writing the query, the simple clause like select and from, I just wrote select a star from employees. And we got the result. We got all 107, 108 records here. And when I was just filtering it out by using where clause, so there I can use salary for an example greater than 10,000. So in this one, I'm going to get only those employees whose salary is greater than 10,000. So it will narrow down and get the result set only 15 employee records. Now, if I have two filter conditions in the query, if there are multiple filter condition. In this case, I will have to use and or or. For an example, if I have one condition, condition number one, that salary greater than 10,000. And I have condition number two, it's saying department ID, equal to 90. In this example, I have two conditions. One related to salary and another one related to department ID. Now, when I'm going to write in the filter condition, I need to combine both the filter conditions and then I have to write here. So when we combine it, we have to tell to the compiler that both conditions will be true, only then I need to get the record, or if only one condition is true, then I can get it. So let's talk something regarding groceries. If you are going to a grocery shop and you decided to buy the grocery from only that shop, having potato and tomato, one of them. So if you are going to a grocery shop and you have not seen neither potato, neither tomato, then you are going to know, okay, I'm not going to buy anything from this shop because I need to buy at least one of that. So that's the or condition means if you will see potato or you will see tomato, in that case, you are going to buy. So I mean to tell that if any of the condition is true, if you are going to select the record then, then you, you have to use or clause. So if I'm going to write the query here, and using the same filter condition, that'll be greater than 10,000. And 
I have one more condition, department ID equal to 90. So if I will use department ID equal to 90 and use R clause here. So let's see what will happen. In that case, any employee having salary greater than 10,000 or any employees working for department 90, it will be selected. So if I'm going to run the query here, and let's see the results set for the employee number one, it's department ID 90 and work having salary greater than 10, sorry, 10,000. So this is good case. Now in these three, both conditions are getting satisfied. But when we move forward and see for row number four, here I have department ID 90. It means this condition is false and salary is greater than 10,000. So this is true. So this condition is true and this condition is false. In that case also, I got the result. So likewise, for all these records, only the salary condition is true, right? So our clause will fetch the result if any of the condition is true. It means if we can write some kind of formula here, so if condition number one is so if I'm going to write in where clause, where condition one or condition two. So how it will work? Condition one, if it is true or condition two is false, then overall it will be true. Right? And if it is true and this one is also true, then also condition will be true, of course. But if the first condition is false and second condition is true, then also it's going to be true. And if bo both are false, right? So if both conditions fall, in that case, what's going to happen? It will be false. So bottom line here for the or condition is, if any of the condition is true, then this whole where clause is going to be true and it will select the results. So that's why when we have our condition here, and if any one of the condition is true, we got the result. That's the story about our clause. Now, end clause. So if I have multiple conditions, one of the clause, one of the logical operator is or. Now the second one, if both conditions should be true, then only I want to select the result. For an example, if I can show you these three records. For these three, salary condition and department condition both are true, right? So if both are true, then only data will be selected if I'm going to use and condition here. So let's write this query. And if I will write end here, and let's see the result set. So we are going to get one to three. Let's relate it with the grocery example here. So if I'm going to buy the grocery, and I will say, hey, I'm going to buy the grocery from only that shop who has, who have potato, and 
summit or both. Because see, I'm going to make some study where I need to use both. And if I'm not going to find it in one shop, I'm not going to go to multiple shop and just keep buying the glasses. So that's why and condition we use in the situation where both filter condition is true. So if I'm going to write formula here, true or false, it will be false. And then true or true, of course true. Then false or true, it will be false. And then false, and here it is and true. And so the formula for and operator is if any one of the condition is false, this whole condition will become false. Okay. So whenever I'm going to use and operator, I have shown you that if both conditions are true, then only data is going to be selected. Now let's talk about uh, any condition where we have equal to clause also in the sense shall be greater than equal to 10,000. And suppose on the same column, I have another filter condition. And salary less than equal to 15,000. So if I'm going to run this query, I will get all those records where the salary is either equal to 10,000 or greater than, and it is less than 15,000 or equal to 15,000. There may be multiple conditions, multiple situations where one side may be equal to or there may not be equal to. So I can have four combinations here. In this one, one side is equal to. In this one, this side, is not equal to. In this one, there is not no any equal to condition at all. So, if on the same column we have filter condition and both having equality operator, that can be written by one more method called between operator. So, if I'm going to write this query, and I can write here salary between 10,000 and 15,000. And if I can run it. So this between is equivalent of greater than equal to lowest value and less than equal to lowest value. So we can just do recap of these three operators, whatever we have done today. So I can just show you in this journey what are things we have covered. So we did or, we did and, and then we finish between operators. Just to recap, what's the syntax for there are many in all, I'm going to teach you next journey. So or operator, if one of the condition is true, it will just get the data. And then end operator, if all conditions are true, then only it is going to select the data. And then between operator, for the same column, if we have greater than equal to and less than equal to, then it's going to select the data. That's all for today's journey. I'm going to show you in the next journey for the advanced filter part two. 
and there I'm going to cover in all and any operator. So we'll see you soon there. Thank you all.